grave. <laughs> to believe it. I didn't even want to believe it myself, but you're here. You're alive. You really are alive. I knew I couldn't trust Buzz Cooper. I'm surprised the whole town is here with you. Alan, I don't know what you're doing here, but I would appreciate it if you would just butt out. Alan. All right, I won't interfere with this touching reunion, but I'm not leaving the plane. You need me more than ever now, Reva. been hanging out with Alan Spaulding. We uh, met up in Goshen. It was just by accident. You're Rebecca? Yes. Yeah. That's what I was called. So you've been in Springfield for several weeks now. Alan brought me back to Springfield with my friend how, Abigail. How could you be here without telling me? How could you be here for so long without coming to see your children? I don't, un oh, I don't I understand. Them. Yeah, well, you scared the daylights out of Shane in the park. You, you, you followed us to the mall. You, you pretended to be a ghost to Mara. No, I Cavs. didn't pretend. That's what Mara wanted Don't to Don't you realize what's head. going on here? Don't you realize what's happened? I, I got married today. Reva, I got married today. There's a reception going on at my house right now. I know. You know. That's why I'm on this plane. I'm... I'm leaving. I didn't want to interfere. You... you didn't want to interfere? Oh, I see. I see. Joshua, this has been agony. Agony? It's been agony for, for you? What, what about me? What about us? What about your family, Reva? Your, your daughter and your son and your, your parents. All these years we thought you were... You, you were just going to get on a plane and leave here without telling us the truth? I thought it would be better for everyone. You, you thought it would be better. Sitting here on a plane guzzling champagne with Alan Spaulding? Where were you going to go, huh? London? Rome? Madrid, maybe? Maybe you stop by uh, the Florida Keys for a little while, you know, live out some old memories, drive off a bridge, something Gosh, like that. Stop. Bet Bear the alone. money and then reap the rewards. You're going back to your old ways, Reva? Is that what's going on here? Still, you're still jumping to conclusions at the drop of a hat, aren't you? Still thinking the worst of me. Just as judgmental and unforgiving as ever. No, no, no. How am I supposed to forgive somebody who doesn't exist? Reva, the only person that I ever saw, and this was from the back, was a blonde woman standing over Al Abigail Bloom's bed at the hospital. Did you care more about her than you care about your own children or, or, or about... Oh, you don't understand. No, I don't understand. I don't think I'm ever going to be able to understand. You have done some bizarre things in your lifetime, but this is the most hurtful, cruel thing I could possibly... Get out! Get out now! Just go! Go, go to your new bride! Nobody asked you to be here in the first place, so just go, would you? Just go now! Uh, okay, okay, I'll start. Uh, this one's ginger ale, and, and that one's champagne. <laughs> okay, where do I start? Uh... Josh and I want to thank everyone for being here tonight. Um, you are the best friends, the best family a couple could ask for. I know Josh and I have had a couple rough spots there in the past months, but everything is behind us, and we're here. We finally made it. We're married. Finally. <laughs> I guess what I, I mean to say is um, we're here because of all of you, because of all your love and your, your support, and just knowing that we could count on you made it so much easier for us. 
Listen to me, I'm talking like Josh is even here. He's not, but he's going to be here. And he'll want to say all these things to you all over again. But hey, you can never say them enough, huh? <laughs> <laughs> so, thank you, every one of you. This is the happiest night of my life. Cheers, cheers, cheers. So, cheers, cheers, cheers. everyone enjoy yourself and drink up. And please, stop worrying. <laughs> Josh is going to come back. The tape of... Reva, it was just a mistake. Alex was wrong. Reva Shane was Josh's wife, but she's dead. Now I'm... I'm married to him. You saw the wedding, right? You saw us get married. So please, everyone, just have a good time. Please. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, I'll, I'll take care of it. Annie? Annie, you here? Are you okay, darling? Yeah. Annie? Do you know what this is? This is the first wedding ring that Josh and I had. It promised a lot. Josh promised a lot. There is no way that he is going to leave me. Forget about what the people upstairs think. All those people love you, Annie. You know that. I saw their faces, Rick. They think that Josh is going to back out. What if this isn't about Josh backing out, Annie? What if it's about Don't something else? Don't say it. Josh and I got through a lot of bad stuff. We got through the mistrust and the lies and the stupid sick little prank will what not pull us not apart. A, what if this is not about a prank? Stop it! Didn't you hear, Josh? He said that he loved me. Didn't you hear his spouse? He said all Annie. that I have and all that Annie. I am and all Annie. that I ever will be. Annie, as I much give as you to don't you. Want, as much as Reva you don't cannot want to take this, this away. Annie, as much as you don't want to hear this, it was Reva on that tape. No! wonderful nurse because you're going to need round-the-clock care for that sick ego of yours. Don't bring Annie into this. This is not about Annie. Oh, it's Joshua, about... stop it. Stop it right now. Yes, I have been in Springfield, and I've seen so much more than you even think I have. I've seen your picnics in the park with the kids, and Annie and you. I've seen your new house. I've seen your painted carousel for all your land of wishes, hopes, and dreams. Oh, you went all out for the little lady in white, didn't you? Reva, I thought you were dead. I looked for you for years. I searched and I searched for you, and I tried to find your wife. Why couldn't you? I had no trouble. <sighs> Alan, if you know what's good for you, you will mind your own business and stay out of ours. I saw the way you looked at Annie. Is that why you put that little plaque in the park? Stuck a piece of stone in the ground so that no. you could forget no, about me and start over with her? our children. It was for the good of oh, our own children. Oh, stop it. Stop lying. No, you I'm not lying. To forget Reba, me you're me. wrong. Oh, am I? Well, if you loved me the way I thought you did, if you loved me the way I loved you, then you never would have fallen in love with another woman. But 
you did. Didn't you? Well, finally, the truth comes out. It would have been a lot easier if I just stayed dead. Esther. Oh, admit it. No. He would have been a lot happier. Reva, stop it. You have no idea what I went through. In the months, in the years after you were dead, I, after, after I thought you were dead. I, I almost went under myself, Reva. But you know what? I couldn't do that because our children needed somebody and I was the only one there. It was so hard for me just to put one foot in front of the other. For you to say I didn't care, for you, for you to say that I didn't love you, that's not just wrong, it's cruel. It's the cruelest thing you've ever said to me. I'm cruel? You're the one that went on with life as if I never existed. You've got a hell of a lot of nerve blaming Reva. Not once have you asked about her. Don't you even care what she's been going through the last five years? It doesn't matter to no, me. No, it does matter. It do I care. I'm trying so hard to understand this. How could you willfully hurt us like oh, this? There you go again, twisting everything around. You act as if you know everything that's been going on with me, but you don't. Things just don't change, do they, bud? I wasn't good enough for you when I was 16, and I'm still not good enough for you. We're not talking about when you were 16. We're talking about right now, about what's happening right now. Are you going to tell me or not? I have been trying to explain to you, but you haven't given me the chance. Oh, I haven't given you the chance. Well, talk about old habits. Huh? You get put on the spot, you go after somebody else, preferably me. Well, if I'm such a problem to you in the flesh, why don't you just leave me dead and buried? Because you're not dead and buried, Reva. You're standing here right in front of yeah, me. Well, not for long. Reva, I have a bunch of people back at my house right now waiting to find out whether or not you're alive. What am I supposed to tell them? Tell them I'm dead? Dead to my so-called friends and dead to my honeymooning husband. What about your children? I've made peace with that, bud. I'm ready to go. I'll have the pilot notify the tower. on the icy steps. We wouldn't want Annie's new husband to have a broken neck on account of me. Well, I hate to break up this reunion, but we've been cleared for takeoff. So get off the plane, Josh. Mara, no. Sorry. It's an angel of Mama. Right, Daddy? No, sweet pea. I'm no angel. I'm alive. Miss Rose, like a skating rink. 
you sure you want to do this, Annie? I've never been so sure about anything in my life. Josh will be there with Reba. We both know that. I don't know that. Annie, we saw the tape. Reba's alive. I won't believe that until I reach out and touch Reba with my own two hands. It's true, sweetie. I'm here. But you told me you, you told me you were dead. Oh, baby. I saw you in the light, Mama. I talked to you. I know, darling. You're... I asked you. You said you, you said you were in heaven. Were you? Did you really die, Mama? No, oh, sweetheart. I didn't die. I'm here. Take my hand. Oh, sweetie, it's all right. It really is. It's me, darling. It's not a dream. I dream about you a lot. Am, am I going to wake up and you'll be gone? Shh. Oh, sweetie. It's not a dream, honey. It's not. My arms are really around you. I I love you, sweetheart. I do. You're my girl. You're my little girl, Mara. I love you more than I've ever loved anyone. It's okay. It's okay, sweetheart. Reeve, you're scary. I don't mean to. She, she's my little girl. Honey, Mara, please, sweetie. I, I came back here because of you, Mara. Now you, you come back to me. go away to heaven. I didn't, sweetheart. Did they make you dead in court? The judge said you were dead. Daddy, why did you do that to her? Sweetheart, listen to me. I had no choice. I thought she was gone. I, I thought she was dead and never coming back. She had a car accident when we went to Florida. Th that's right. That's what had happened. That's when we all thought that she had died. But I didn't, sweetheart. Reba, it's late. She's upset. You're upset. She doesn't Please. understand. She doesn't understand Let her father me. explain. If you think that I'm going to go away and leave things like this, then you're wrong because I'm not. Daddy, what is going on? I mean, look at me, all right? I know this is a shock for you, and I'm so sorry for that. I, I, I'm sorry you had to find out this way. Daddy, I wanted to tell you my... I wanted to prepare you in some way. Daddy, why did you tell me? Because, honey, like you, I didn't know until just a few minutes ago. That doesn't make sense, Daddy. What do you want to know? If Mama didn't die in Florida, if she was really alive all this time, where was she? How come you didn't come and tell me you never died, Mama? Answer her question, Reva. I want to hear this, too. Me, I would never do anything to hurt you or your daddy or Shane. I'd never do anything like that on purpose. See, you didn't come back. Mara, what you don't understand is that after your mommy's car accident in Florida, she got sick. She hit her head and lost her memory of everything and everyone. Is that true? Joshua, it is true. I, I hit my head lots of times, but that didn't make me forget anybody. Oh, sweetheart, this is different. Alan, just let her speak. Let Alan, Reva speak. please, Joshua's right. Mama, honey, I know how hard this is for you to understand. But sometimes when people get hit on the head really hard, they, their brain gets all mixed up, he, like scrambled. Like an egg? Yeah, sweetie, exactly like an egg. You want to Did that happen to you? Yeah. Sometimes it takes a long time for things to get back into place. And when I had everything all mixed up like that, I didn't know who I was or who you were or even who the President of the United States was. Clinton. It's Bill Clinton. Yeah. I know that now. Then you must have known who I was. Well, for a while I have, but... I... Did you know who I was when you came to the park that day or when you were in the mall? Well, yes. Then you should have said you were there. I was just trying to find the you right way to come to you. You should have told us about your scrambled egg brain and that you were back. Is Mama telling the truth now or is yes, she lying? Yes, no, I'm telling the truth. I'm not lying. You lied before. Sweetheart, sweetheart, you listen to me, all right? Sweet... Mara, look at me, sweetheart. Mommy, please oh help me. Oh, my gosh. Me. 